Hey guys, Island Homesteader here with a, well, let's see, it's a bit of a review and uh, I guess a DIY video on uh, doing a home soil test. So I bought this rapid test soil test kit at Ace Hardware and it has 40 tests and that's 10 um, of pH tests and then it also tests nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium or potash the NPK that is uh, the three numbers in your fertilizer formula so I'm sure most of you know this but a 10 10 10 is 10 parts nitrogen 10 parts phosphorus 10 parts um, potassium that's what those three numbers are and those three numbers um, of course the plants like the different parts of that for different things um, nitrogen obviously um, is what greens up the plant and makes uh, a lot of really green leafy growth. Um, nitrogen is mainly for the foliage. And phosphorus is uh, part of uh, seed development. Um, it uh, aids plant maturity, increases seed yield, increases fruit development, increases vitamin content, and increases age of the plant's resistance to disease and winter kill. Phosphorus strengthens the plant. Um, it helps form carbohydrates and promotes protein synthesis. It will improve the color and flavor of fruit. It further aids early growth, stem strength, and cold hardiness. Plants deficient in potash are usually stunted and have poorly developed root systems. Leaves are spotted, curled, and appear dried out at the edges. Yields for potassium or yields for potash deficiency are low. So that's the that's the four things that we're going to test. And the first thing is the pH test. And what I'm testing is my potting mix for the grow bags um, that had the peppers in them last year. And that's what I'm getting ready to um, plant up now is some peppers that I got at the store. So it's very similar to the last video I did um, with my tomato grow mix. Um, this is last year's I sifted it's three of the five gallon grow bags and I have sifted it and added um, the composted horse manure the compost out of my compost bin um, some Epsom salt and some of the organic fertilizer so that's the soil that I'll be testing today and uh, so the first part is the pH test and the pH test you fill this test container up to that line with soil and then I'm going to put water in it and you dump the contents of one of these green tabs in it and that'll give you um, you let it develop for a minute or so and then that'll give you the results so let me put this phone down and um, I'll fill up to here with water I'll put the contents of one of those capsules in I'll mix it up and then I'll uh, I'll bring you along for the next part all right, I don't think it's showing up right with the light and stuff in here, but it looks like we're somewhere between 6.0 and 6.5. And I'm looking at the screen on the phone right now, and I know that doesn't look right, but looking um, without the camera, that's about where we're at, somewhere between 6 and 6.5. So, um, which for growing peppers... Let's see if it'll focus, 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 focus. Pepper is 5.5 five to 7.0. Oh. So I think we're, uh, we're pretty close. Okay. So now the next part, do the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. What you have to do, now this thing is really messed up on focus. There we go. It's working on it. Is in this container, I have five cups of water. You take five cups of water and one cup of soil and you mix that now um, you, you're supposed to let it set until the water kind of clears up some because you're just sampling the water off of the uh, off of the top of the sample and my soil since it's basically a soilless mix it's just a lot of peat moss and organic matter um, it's going to take a long time probably to settle out sorry about the noise and get this down out of this funnel. Um, it's going to take a long time to settle out. So it says you can go anywhere from 10 minutes to 24 hours. 
So this is probably going to have to set overnight. And uh, I'll come back in the morning and see if this has settled down. So there we go, finally. All right, one cup of soil and five cups of water. And then you, uh, whatever your clean container is, and this is clean, I know it's windshield washer solvent, but um, you take it and you give it a really, really good shake so that you mix it up. So there it is. Um, like I said, the problem is now it's going to have to settle out. And uh, they say take anywhere from 10 minutes to 24 hours. Mine, I'm sure, is going to take the 24 hours um, because all that organic material is just floating up in the water right now. So I'll come back uh, when that's settled out and uh, I'll show you the rest. All right, so hopefully you can see this is the next day. There we go. This is the next day. Uh, about 10 o'clock in the morning, so it's probably been 20 hours since I mixed this, and uh, it's settled pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer that liquid into these test chambers. And I'm just going to fill, there's a little line, you probably can't see it, but there's a little line right there. And I'm going to fill each one to that line, and then add one of the appropriate colored capsules in it and shake it up and I'll show you the results okay I've got each of the containers full of water and you fill both sides you fill the the test side which is the left side here and you fill the reference side in the back um, in case there's any color variation or color difference in the water Apparently that helps offset the color. So now I'm going to add one of the appropriate colored capsules um, to each container just in the test chamber side and then uh, mix it. And if I didn't show it before, this kit does come with a pipette to pipette the water out of your uh, soil container into these little reference things. Alright, and the results are in. And it looks like and the potash or the potassium that uh, we are well into the surplus and that is probably with the um, uh, Epsom salt that I added autofocus isn't working very well that's probably the Epsom salt that I added um, if I remember correctly from high school horticulture and biology I think magnesium and potassium kind of go hand in hand with each other and Epsom salts magnesium um, so that's fine. Um, I had a lot of problems last year with uh, blossom end rot and a lot of that's due to magnesium and potassium so I don't mind having too much. Uh, phosphorus. Phosphorus looks pretty high too uh, and I'm not sure where exactly phosphorus comes from but I'm in a, it looks like I'm in a surplus on phosphorus so um, that's, that's okay. So I'll know when I fertilize to um, to not use a lot of magnesium or potassium and phosphorus when I fertilize since I'm well into the surplus on both of those. Now nitrogen, nitrogen, it's not depleted. Um, it's kind of hard to tell from here. That I think the easier way is to kind of turn it around and get it in front of maybe this white freezer face. And you can see there is some color. Uh, and it's somewhere between deficient and adequate, closer to the deficient side. So I know when I fertilize then that I'll, uh, I'll need to fertilize with a, a fairly high nitrogen fertilizer, that there isn't a lot of nitrogen in there. So, um, so there you go. That is the results. Uh, the pH yesterday's test was about where I want it. Uh, potassium, there's a surplus of potassium, a surplus of phosphorus and not enough nitrogen so that'll help me when I like I say when I go to fertilize that'll help me knowing what to fertilize with so I'll try to get a, uh, a higher nitrogen um, organic fertilizer um, and there's several of them out there I think uh, uh, blood meal bone meal I think those are nitrogen I'm not sure feather meal maybe um, but you can you can look it up either online or go to the store and read your labels um, and that'll give you a reference point to know what to fertilize with and what not to fertilize with. 
So that's uh, that's the results on my uh, the soil from my grow bags. And like I said, this is the rapid test soil test kit. Um, got it at Ace Hardware. It says 40 tests, but again, that's 10 complete tests of all four uh, tests. So, and they do they did sell the refills uh, for the capsules. Um, I saw them on the shelf there at Ace, and this was. Um, a twenty dollar twenty four dollar test maybe something like that so I don't know we'll see maybe it's worth it um, I hope it was uh, like I said it does it does give me it gives me an idea of what to fertilize and what not to fertilize with so if you've never tested your soil um, I do encourage you to test it especially if you know you're gardening in the ground and it's soil that you don't change that much uh, these grow bags I change the soil I, it's easy to amend the soil or change it out completely um, but if you're gardening in the ground I suggest doing a soil test you can either do it this way or um, I'm sure most uh, agriculture extension services probably still do soil tests probably most of them for free um, just go to your agriculture extension office and uh, talk to them about it and that's pretty simple you just send a sample in and sometimes it takes a few weeks to get a sample back um, so if you don't want to wait here's one way to uh, do your own test all right, guys, uh, so go out, get your soil test kit, or uh, go to your agriculture extension office and get the information on testing your soil, and test your soil so you know what you have and what you don't have. Um, now, the uh, the test at the agriculture extension office may test for minerals, too, and let you know what you're needing there, so um, that would probably be a, something good to have. But this is this is a good base test here. It gives you your, your pH, your nitrogen, ph phosphorus, and potassium, the NPK. Um, so there it is, rapid test, soil test kit from Ace Hardware, and I'm sure they sell it at most of the other big box places and whatever too. So, all right guys, thanks for watching and, uh, comment down in the bottom, ask any questions. Um, if I don't know the answer, I'll try to find the answer or somebody else maybe will know the answer. Uh, so hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Um, also, uh, look for the link below in the comment or in the, the, uh, information box for a link to my Facebook account or Facebook page. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.